Hello, and welcome to the Daily Orthodox Christian Script Reading for the 11th week after Pentecost, Wednesday. The first reading of the day is from St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 3, verses 4 through 11. Brethren, such is the confidence that we have through Christ toward God, not that we are competent of ourselves to claim anything as coming from us. Our confidence is from God who has made us competent to be ministers of a new covenant, not in a written code, but in the Spirit. For the written code kills, but the Spirit gives life. Now, if the dispensation of death, carved in letters on stone, came with such splendor that the Israelites could not look at Moses' face because of its brightness, fading as it was, will not the dispensation of the Spirit be attended with greater splendor? For if there was splendor in the dispensation of condemnation, the dispensation of righteousness must far exceed it in splendor. Indeed, in this case, what once had splendor has come to have no splendor at all, because of the splendor that surpasses it. For if what faded away came with splendor, what is permanent must have much more splendor. And today's gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 23, verses 29 through 39. The Lord said to the Jews who had come to him, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the monuments of the righteous, saying, If we had lived in the days of our fathers, we would not have taken part with them in shedding the blood of the prophets. Thus you witness against yourselves that you are sons of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up, then, the measure of your fathers, you serpents, you brood of vipers. How are you to escape being sentenced to hell? Therefore I send you prophets and wise men and scribes, some of whom you will kill and crucify, and some you will scourge in your synagogues and persecute from town to town that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed on earth, from the blood of innocent Abel to the blood of Zacharias, the son of Berechiah, whom you murdered between the sanctuary and the altar. Truly I say to you, all this will come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, killing the prophets and stoning those who are sent to you, how often I would have gathered your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, and you would not. Behold, your house is forsaken and desolate, for I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Thank you for listening. Let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us and direct the works of our hands to do good. See you tomorrow.